The information library on the web portal is where you're going to find you're going to update or upload the content for your library most frequently. This can be managed either at the content group level for all locations or within a location if it's specific for that site alone. To get to the library, we're just going to come over to the menu on the left and just select the information. And from here, you'll see I have categories that have already been created. I'm going to go ahead and open up a category and then you'll see I have multiple subcategories. To create a category, you'll just select this blue button up here on the top, add a new category. You'll enter in the name. Let's just do uh, SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures. Once I've created that category, I'm going to open it up and I need to add in a subcategory before I'm able to add any files. We're going to go ahead and call this cash handling. And then once I open that subcategory, this is where I can now start to upload my files. If I have something on my desktop, I can come here to upload my own files and I can search for those files specifically on my computer by choosing those files. I can search for any of those images or any of those documents. I can also drag and drop if I already have access to the file quickly from like my desktop, I can bring it in. As you can see, we've, we've outlined what files are supported. I'm going to go ahead and grab a file, go ahead and upload that. What's nice is if you're uploading a larger file, it will compress that file to upload more quickly. From here, within this subcategory, now that I have my first file, I have the ability to remove it, I can change the name, and then I also have a view option see the file that you've uploaded. I've uploaded a, a funny little GIF. Um, from here, we do have some additional options. You can edit the permissions for this particular subcategory, not only who you can share it with, but if you're creating this at the content group level, you'll also have the locations that will have access to this. So not only can you create content specific to that location within your location mode, but you can manage it at the content group level and decide which locations should have access to this particular subcategory. The automatically activate or deactivate applies to new locations being added to your account. So if this is going to be unique for this single location, go ahead and do the automatic deactivate and then it's only going to apply to those sites that you've already predefined. And then to assign it to any particular roles, you would turn off the share with everyone and then this is going to open up the role access where now I can turn off all roles and then select those particular roles I want to have access or, or limit the permission of viewing. You can also create a custom file. This is really nice if you want to incorporate uh, pictures and text and you don't have something already created where you can come in and add any information that you would like. There's a nice copy tool for a word or text as well as some options to add in some tables if you would like to and then different fonts and formatting options. Once you've created the file, you'll just give it a name and go ahead and save this. I've used this quite a bit for hyperlinks where you want them to be able to access a particular uh, website. This is great if you're using uh, something like Dropbox or you want them to access a, a cleaning video on a particular piece of equipment. I have a great video on how to clean your deep fryer. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste that same text in here, right click to insert a link and then once this pops up you're just going to go ahead and enter in the URL link here. You're going to insert that and this is now a hyperlink. We're going to go ahead and save that text and then from the mobile app they'll now be able to click on the link and it will pull them up to the YouTube channel and watch that quick little video on how to clean the deep fryer. Your locations have the ability to create their own content as well. So if we were to navigate over into the location mode, we could create additional categories and subcategories that are specific for this site. So we'll go ahead and create just example for today's purpose. We'll go ahead and enter in a subcategory. And in that subcategory, we can add additional files as well. 
So I'll go ahead and upload another file. This is now accessible only to this single site. If I was to navigate back into my content group mode, within the locations tab, I'm able to see that they've created their own folder and subfolder. And then even the file that they've uploaded, I have the ability to view the file by clicking the little icon there. I also have the ability to download any of these files to my local desktop. So if I need to access this file outside of Jolt, I can do that. And then I also have the ability with this little plus button where I can graduate this item from the location mode up to content group mode. So if this is something that would be applicable to all of my locations, or I wanna make sure everyone has access to it, I can move it into the content group mode and now it's shared across all locations. Another really useful thing to know is if you've uploaded content into one of your subcategories that is actually in the incorrect spot or, or you wanna group it differently, all you have to do is select the file whichever file it is, and then you can drag and drop and place it wherever you would like within another subcategory. And this can be in different categories as well. So I can take any of my information that I've uploaded here into, let's say my brochures, and I could move it into my SOPs under my cash handling. So it's just a matter of clicking and dragging on that file to select where it is that you want it to go if you wanted to move it around.